today is the first time in a while that I am doing once a week updates again. I mentioned that in my last update that my on my 33 through 35 pregnancy update, I did mention that was going to be my last combination pregnancy updates. And from here on out, I'm going to be doing single once a week pregnancy updates. So this week is my 36 week pregnancy update. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my 36 week update and let you guys know all my symptoms, my cravings, and all the new things that are kind of going on right now. So one of the symptoms that I have been experiencing, and I've actually mentioned this in a video before, that I think I'm having Braxton Hicks contractions and I wasn't really sure if that's what they were, but I'm pretty positive now that that's what they have to be. I mean, even then, I've had like a couple here and there, um, and they just kind of felt like a mild period cramp, and I was just kind of like, this kind of has to be Braxton Hicks, what else could it possibly be? But now I am for sure positive that I am having Braxton Hicks, and I have been having them all week long. There was one day that I had them all day, off and on, the entire day, and it sucked so bad. So, so bad. That day was horrible. I literally just wanted to sleep the day away because they just hurt so bad. And they never last for more than like a minute or two, and they're never like back to back or really close together. They're just kind of like all over the place. Sometimes I will have a set back to back and then it'll be like an hour or two later I will have like another one for like a minute or two and then 30 minutes later I have like another one for a minute or two it's just like kind of like all over the place and sometimes they don't hurt at all sometimes it just kind of feels like a really tight sensation down here and then after about a minute or two it releases and I'm fine but it doesn't hurt and then other times it does hurt and I just feel it all along here and in my back as well. And they are kind of painful. But that is one of the symptoms that I have been having is Braxton Hicks and I've pretty much been having them every single day. Um, that day I literally had them off and on all day but every other day since then I've only had them like once or twice a day. Another symptom I've been having is I have been feeling really tired this week. Um, I just like don't have the energy to do anything. Really, really tired this week. And not like sleepy tired, just like, I don't know, like my body is just tired and it's doesn't, it's not like strong enough like to get up and get moving and cleaning and all of that stuff. And I don't know if it's because my son started preschool this week and so our schedule and routine is like, all brand new to me and him. Waking up in the morning is so hard for me and he's not even here yet. I mean, when he's here, there is no schedule. So a sleeping schedule whatsoever for me. So I don't know, I just need to try and figure things out. Um, I've been going to bed here lately around like two, three o'clock in the morning and then having to get up at six. So that's probably also why I'm very tired lately and don't have as much energy. Another symptom that I have been having, which I've pretty much had this symptom throughout my entire pregnancy, is being very emotional. And I haven't really brought it up because nobody wants to talk about how emotional they get, but if you're pregnant or you've been pregnant, then you know that the hormones are no joke. Um, I would say that pregnancy hormones are 10 times worse than period hormones. Um, I'm just like an emotional wreck. I don't know, I'm just like really emotional and any little thing will literally set me off into tears. I'm not even playing. And my emotionalness is like crying all the time and instantly getting sad over things and I swear they're the most stupidest, pettiest things in the world that I get so upset over, but I don't know. <laughs> I cried over milk because we don't have any more milk and we have not made it to the store to get any, so I cried over that. Um, if my husband says something and I don't like the way he says it, 
even though he, he can just be talking to me casually, he, we can just be having a casual, nice, fun conversation. And if he says something and I don't like the way he says it, I instantly start feeling like I need to freaking cry. And <laughs> I swear every single thing that anybody like mentions to me, like, like about my body or whatever, I instantly take as an insult and I get mad or I want to cry. Um, like my husband the other day, he was like looking through his photos and he was like, look how skinny mama was right here. And I just like kind of looked at him and I was just like, okay. And he's like, you were like, look at you, babe. Like you looked good. You're skinny. Like, and I was just like, I, w I didn't say anything, but I seriously wanted to freaking cry. And it just like, <laughs> I know he didn't mean anything by it. I know he gave me a compliment like, damn, I look good. But just the fact that, okay, well, I don't look like that right now. So <laughs> it just like set me off into wanting to freaking cry. But I didn't. I held it together. And I don't know. I just cry over the most stupidest things. If we run out of something that I, that I want or if there's something that I'm craving and I can't have because we don't have it right now or we can't make it to the store to go get it, I start crying. Like, I don't know. The emotionalness is crazy. It's been a crazy roller coaster. I'm just like kind of over the whole emotionalness. And to be honest, like I love my belly and I definitely feel like it gives me a lot of confidence having this belly. And just thinking like, I haven't been in my normal body for nine months now. And just thinking like, how it's gonna be when I go back to not having the belly. I'm just kind of like scared because this belly has definitely given me more confidence. And I know that I am a beautiful woman inside and out, whether I'm pregnant or not. But I just feel like being pregnant just gave me this overall really big confidence boost. I just love, you know, the way that I look in dresses and just having this cute little bump. And I don't know, I've just like really bonded with with him in there and having this bump and then and just like a couple weeks for it to be gone and I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm really excited to get back to my body and be able to wear normal clothes that fit me and pretty clothes and things like that but I'm also just like kind of scared I don't know another thing that I have been experiencing this week is constipation um, TMI, I know, but that it is one of those things that pregnant women do go through, and I haven't been constipated since, like, the very beginning of my pregnancy, I was constipated, and then all throughout, like, my second trimester and going into my third, I've been fine, but all of a sudden, this whole week, I have been constipated like no other, and it is so, so annoying. I hate being constipated. Like... <clears throat> and I've been trying to eat like more healthier things like lots of fruits and veggies and like smoothies and stuff like that and I'm still like getting constipated so I don't know it's actually starting to lighten up um now that I'm in my 37 weeks now but definitely all throughout my 36 week um of being pregnant I was definitely constipated every single day like no other it was so annoying as far as my cravings go, I have definitely been craving smoothies again. I know I was on a, a smoothie kick there for a while, um, and then I just kind of got burnt out on it, and now I'm kind of back in it, and I'm actually really upset because I haven't been able to make any smoothies because we don't have any milk to put in the smoothies. So, but anyways, that's kind of like the only new craving that I'm having this week. As usual, anything sweet is a must. Other things that have been going on, I had to reschedule my doctor appointment. Um, we were supposed to be seen two Mondays ago and we couldn't make it and the only other appointment they had was two weeks out which is on the 14th. So I've been waiting for two weeks to be seen by a doctor and when we were supposed to be seen on the Monday that was supposed to be the last doctor appointment that they were going to see me every two weeks. That was my last every two week doctor appointment. And then it was going to be every week from there on out. But apparently that didn't happen because all they had available was the 14th. 
So I have that doctor appointment next week. So once I go to that, I will update you guys anything new, if I'm dilated or anything like that. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully everything is going good in there. I think it is. I mean, if I were going to have him, I would have already had him by now. And I am so happy. I actually got him on video kicking. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that here. Um, I haven't really gotten much footage of him kicking. I think I've only uploaded one pregnancy update with a little clip of him kicking and that was the only video that I had of him kicking. It seems that every time I pull out the camera to catch him kicking, he stops and this boy kicks like crazy all day long, all hours of the day and every time I go to record him, he stops. So I actually finally got some footage of him kicking so I'll go ahead and insert that here so you guys can see that as well. His diaper bag is finally packed. Took me forever to finally pack it, but it's finally packed and all ready to go. So I do need to film a what's in my diaper bag video. Um, so that will be coming soon here. I don't know when, I'm not gonna throw out a date or say I'm gonna make it this week or next week because I who knows what I'm gonna do. But um, I'm definitely gonna film a video for that. I still need to pack my hospital bag and my husband's and my son's. Um, which I need to get around to doing already because I am going to be 38 weeks soon and things are starting to get real and the time is getting closer and closer and closer so I definitely need to do that. Um, we only have 14 days to go so time is definitely ticking down very very fast. Um, right now at well at 36 weeks he was the size of a head of romaine lettuce so that is fun little reference to know that he is like that long and that big like a head of romaine lettuce so yeah that's pretty much it for this 36 week update so now i'll go ahead and show you guys my baby bump so here we have it from the front this side as you can see none of my freaking clothes fit me so annoying <laughs> this side and then with my shirt up from the front and let me know what you guys think do you think I have dropped at all do you think I'm the same I feel like I am still the same but I've also been feeling like I can breathe a lot better I don't know if maybe he just like kind of moved positions in here but before I just felt so uncomfortable up here and like I couldn't breathe I always felt like he was all in my ribs and I haven't been feeling that. I feel like my belly looks the same as before, but let me know what you guys think, if you guys think that my belly has dropped at all. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, so yeah, that is it for my 36 week pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.